Influencers are very prevalent in today's society. Brands look for specific people to use for this type of social media marketing. Target audiences are easily attracted due to the influencer's specialized knowledge on certain subjects. Since many teenagers are on these platforms, they are seen as easy targets on platforms such as TikTok, Snapchat, and Instagram. Influencers have been around for many years. A prominent example in history is Marilyn Monroe. She was a young and beautiful woman, which was very attractive to the marketing industry. She was involved with ads and campaigns for shampoo, makeup, shoes, magazines, alcoholic beverages, and more. One of her most famous commercials was for Dior, where she promoted the number five perfume. Influencers are very common on social media platforms in today's world. We have gone around the school asking students some questions about how they feel about influencers. Probably fake. Famous. Probably fraud. I can inspire you. Uh, someone who tries to influence you to like buy something. Like Alex Earl. I'm Alex Earl. Alex. Or, um, Alex Earl, I guess. Yeah, very influences me on buying like makeup and like skincare and other products like that. Made me buy um, makeup. Alex Earl, like I've bought a lot of her products before. So some of the positives I feel like are just being able to um, form connections with peers and also to be able to be knowledgeable about current events or things like that are happening in the world. Positive effects, I think it allows teenagers to stay connected with one another. Um, I think there can be some positive interactions over social media, creating friendships or allowing friendships to build. Positive, allowing you to see places that you may not see, like travel and, you know, different experiences that you may not even be aware of. So it kind of opens your world to all the good stuff, too. Social media has a big influence and impact on us. It affects many things, and in this video, you will see many examples. A 2019 study of more than 6,500 12 to 15 year olds in the U.S. found that those who spent more than three hours a day using social media might be at heightened risk for mental health problems. Another 2019 study of more than 12,000 13 to 16 year olds in England found that using social media more than three times a day predicted poor mental health and well being in teens. In today's world, we see that many people are affected by people like Alex Earl. Alex Earl is a popular influencer that is popular in many different age groups throughout the world. As talked about by the students and teachers of Manhasset, Alex Earl has a positive effect on our everyday lifestyle. However, on the contrary, some people believe that people like Alex Earl have a negative impact on our lives. An unrealistic idea about the way we should look or what we should weigh is a major problem that we experience today. However, for other people, they believe that social media and people like Alex Earl have a positive effect in the way that they are entertaining and they can provide a platform where we can all watch and enjoy. Guys, like, it's very time consuming and like when you're scrolling, you, like, you scroll on forever. I feel like a lot of internet influencers, especially the bigger ones, are really just out there for the money and not doing anything. So I think in terms of, you know, internet usage affecting people, it can definitely do terrible things. There are plenty of examples of people, you know, becoming radicalized over the internet. It depends, because I feel like my attention span isn't as good. Um, like people going on brand trips, like people promoting products. Um, it affects me negatively because um, I'm on for a very long time and it takes away from like, my work. Um, I feel like it affects me negatively because I'm on like social media for like a lot of my day. It's like a distraction. In a bad way actually because I'm always on my phone now. Um, a negative way because um, people got addicted too much and then they don't understand what's like the real world. Because like they only show like their good times and not their bad times. Because they only share like what's good and not like what's bad. Because I want to change myself to be like other people. Not all of the moments are realistic moments of what really transpires throughout. Students struggle with the way they interact on social media. You don't always um, see somebody's facial expressions or body language, so it's easier to say things behind a screen than to somebody's face. At times, celebrities do create this facade based on their social media accounts. I think they're only posting all the great moments that happen in their lives. I think it does create this image that doesn't always capture exactly what's happening. A lot of what is um, on social media doesn't accurately capture what happens in reality. And so as a result, what we see, specifically as a counselor, what I've seen 
is that it tends to distort everybody's perception of what's real and it in turn then influences their self-confidence and um, the overuse it. However, I do think that a more there's definitely more negatives in my opinion. Um, I feel like it creates a lot of unnecessary competition. It creates a lot of uh, unnecessary stress with um, trying to, again, keep up with unrealistic expectations, whether it's of, from their friends, from, their, from celebrities, or people that they kind of, uh, I guess, look up to. And then a lot of the things that we see on social media we think are real, because they look real, um, and they're not. So there's a, a scary danger with that of, you know, trying to attain the unattainable. In deciphering and, and navigating through some of the intentions or some of the, uh, the influencers that are out there. Um, I think there's a lot of mixed messages and again, like trying to figure out what's real, what's not. Um, you know, we can create our own reality if we want to. And I think some of those influencers do that. I think in terms of maybe a catalyst for bad grades being a distraction. It's hard to put your phone down, it's hard to put your phone on silent, even if you silence notifications, you still have that temptation to look. Um, so I think it creates an unfocused environment for a lot of teens um, that's almost impossible to like harness and kind of like narrow down so that they can sit down and buckle down with homework and stuff. Um, it becomes all consuming. It's almost like uh, it's an addiction. It's almost like gambling where you have to check, you have to look, you have to post how many likes, um, how many followers. And I think that can very quickly take over somebody's mindset and bring them down a really dark path. Negative is definitely, I feel like there's so much pressure on you guys looking at um, what people have, what people look like when they're filtered and it's not actually reality, um, things that you're missing out on, um, looking at everybody appearing to have this perfect life when it's not reality, but it creates a certain pressure and stress and I think it's really hard for you guys, especially at your age where your friend groups are changing so much and um, and you're trying to just figure out like who you are and what you want to do. So I think the social media to me mostly is negative for teenagers. I think that um, there's so so little valid contribution that they have in the world that um, that putting them on a pedestal is just not they're not the people that you should be looking up to at this point. Later on, but not when you're young, definitely. So you're looking at um, everything looking like it's perfect, but it's really not, and so it creates a false sense of um, what other people's lives are like. As seen throughout this documentary, people have different views on social media and influencers on platforms, but as the world of technology begins to intensify, so will the hold that influencers have on teenagers.